This next scenario is that I'm gonna be down on all fours. However I got there, I ended up on all fours. Again, this is a, this is a fight scenario you see on the YouTube with the girl fights. So I'm gonna be down on all fours. Again, grab by the hair. So we're gonna go back to a similar uh, defense. I'm gonna pin the hands just like we did earlier. So they're dragging me. I'm gonna pin the hands and stand up. Get on my feet, rotate underneath my partner's arm, cut them off and continue to rotate and take them down. This is a terrible fall. You are gonna be damaging all kinds of things. Your partner will damage themselves. So at that point in your training here, let go. But be, be warned that if you hold on to that, you can cause some serious damage. So we're gonna be careful. So train with your partner carefully. Down on all fours. I'm gonna pin that hand. Rotate as I stand up and go under the arm. I'm cutting them off. And continuing that rotation, but I'm gonna Ease up on the handhold so Mr. Mahon can get down safely. Very slowly. Let's do this very slowly. So here, they've got me down on all fours. I'm going to grab, get up on my feet, pin the hand against my head, rotate into this takeori. Cut my partner off, keep rotating, and take them to the ground. So a cutoff. A cutoff is when you stop your partner from correcting. So you're going to step behind or put your foot here so they can't correct. When they step or try to correct, they fall down. So that's a cutoff. This is a great technique as well. So you can stop your partner from getting out of a certain situation by doing that cutoff. This last scenario is I'm gonna be on my back on the ground. The attacker is gonna have my head, try, using my hair to smash my head against the ground. So this is a little bit more advanced and it's gonna go into a bit more of the ground fighting, but we'll, I'll just show you what you can do in this situation. So I ended up on the ground, attacker's on top of me, got my hair, and they're smashing my head against the ground. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to rotate my body and push their arm at the elbow in, so their bones are in their way. At the same time, I'm cupping behind the elbow and rotating up. So I'm rotating the arm, the shoulder, punching it up as I bump my hips up. I'm taking them in a 45 degree angle here. So all that's happening together. So they're smashing my head and I'm just uh, rolling and getting a hongyaku as I land. So here's that hongyaku right here. It could be still attached to my head. Again, I'm using my body and rotating in to do that hongyaku, just like we were doing earlier. Hongyaku, I was using my body to do that. One more time slowly. Banging my head, push the arm in, up the elbow, rotate, go with them, and get your whole gut feet. Very scary situation down on the ground, but you can see how I'm using that small joint manipulation, that whole gyaku, so I could easily be wrecking that wrist. He could got slammed to the ground, I can kick him in the groin, but I'm gonna get up and get out of there quickly after doing what damage I can here so I can get to safety. Thank you for watching this course. There are a lot more scenarios out there that women are concerned about, so I will be addressing those in future courses. So stay tuned. Thanks again, I'm Helen Jotoshi Russo.